Okay, so today I actually got to put this partially back together after getting it all torn apart. So, yay me. The crank needs to go back in and piston number one needs to go back in because we are going to figure out where the reluctor wheel on the back of the crank where the sensor points to it on the crank at top dead center number one. Because I can't find the information on the internet. No one seems to know. So that is the plan. So I'll do that real quick. Okay. Okay. So that's done. This thing is like the most grungy engine I've ever touched in my life. Change oil, people. But we got, uh, we got piston number one in. At least I hope that's number one. I don't freaking know. I'm bad at this stuff. But we got number one in, and we have to rig up some kind of piston stop. And we have to decide what's going to be our pointer. So we rig up a pointer. We install a piston stop. We roll the engine clockwise over till we hit the piston stop. So we'll say there, and we go the opposite direction to hit the piston stop again, and we mark it. And then in between those two marks should be top dead center. So I got to rig up some kind of piston stop. Uh, so wish me luck with that. All right, so uh, here's our piston stop. It's actually that tool that you use to uh, hold the ring gear on the back of the engine. But today it's a piston stop. So... Uh, we got bolted down on there. Now, like I said, so what we do is we bring the piston up to it touches it right there. Now, we need, uh, I guess we don't need a pointer, actually, do we? Yeah, we need a pointer. Okay. Um, so, I need to rig up a pointer somewhere on here. Uh, that shouldn't be too hard, right? I just need like a piece of wire or something. Okay, give me a second. Let's do that now. Okay, all right, all right, we're good to go. All right, so, so this thing, that top dead center, or it's on the piston, it's on the piston stop, right? All right, yeah, so rotation the engine on the, on the so we will make a mark right there. Okay, and now we turn this thing the other way, and we go to we hit the piston, right? Come back up. All right, we hit the piston. We hit the piston. Hold on, right? Let me, uh, let me clean this off so I can get a good paint marker stick. Okay. So, all right, top dead center on this, at the piston stop again. Put a mark there, okay. Now we have two marks, right? We have one mark there, we have one mark there, all right. That one's going that way, that mark, this one's going that way to that mark. That is a horrible arrow. There. Okay, so we gotta measure the distance between these two marks. So, I need a tape measure. Alright, so we measure the distance between those two points. And the middle of that is uh, true tap to center, supposedly. Now, how am I gonna do this? Uh, All right, so I was measuring on the wrong side of my marks. We're on the right side of the marks now. We have our mark at the end of the pointer. Uh, and we can confirm because the piston is at uh, top dead center. So all we got to do now is mark the reluctor wheel where the sensor points to it right here. And we can pull the crank back out and compare the mark to the reluctor wheel I have. And we'll know exactly where the sensor points 
at top dead center, number one. Dead center. All right, so you can see down in the hole, that's the reluctor wheel there. And it looks to me, if I can get this centered, looks to me the center of this is the top of that tooth on the left, maybe a hair below it. So we're gonna mark it with the paint marker and uh, hold out and see if it lines up with uh, the picture I had. And I'm kind of hoping it does, but at the same time, if it does, it's a big waste of time. But it never hurts to be sure. So, all right, I'll cut you back on in a minute. All right, so here is our uh, 24X reluctor wheel. And you probably can't see it, but right here on this tooth is our yellow mark. Now, things we want to look at right now are this hole right here and this hole right here. So, as you can see, this is a two-piece wheel, right? Top piece, bottom piece. So, this hole right here, the top piece is a circle, and the bottom piece, you can, you can, you can see through the top hole, okay? So, that's what we need to remember right now. This hole... This whole top piece, bottom piece sticks out in our mark, okay? Okay, now, here is an LS wheel. Okay, so as you can see, uh, there's our hole, and it's the only hole like that on the ring. And there is our other hole, where you can see the bottom half of the ring. And that's just to know that uh, we are, in fact, have the proper side of the wheel facing out. So now what? Uh, so now we know the, uh, that is basically where you want your sensor pointing. Uh, so what? What good is this, right? Well, what's what good is this information? So now, if you were to bolt this to any other engine, be it a V8 or an inline four, you will now know uh, where to mount your wheel uh, to uh, control it with an LS computer. Uh, yeah, so I hope this was uh, helpful to somebody because I know I looked all over the internet and I couldn't really find anything but that one picture. And so when you only find one picture, it's kind of, you don't know whether to trust it or not. But now, you know, it's been confirmed. So that's the video, everybody. I uh, hope this was helpful. But uh, you all have a great day. I need to go start getting this mounted on the Iron Duke. Talk to you there. Fucking bird, shut up! Alright, so I figured I would show you uh, why I'm spending all this time doing this. So, this pulley uh, came off the Duke here, Iron Duke, four cylinder, and the plan is to take my wheel and uh, bolt it on to this pulley somewhere. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure the hub on here is keyed uh, from the pictures I've looked at, so we won't have to worry about that. And then this does fit over the hub. Ugh. Have to move that block. This does fit over the hub, so it can go on the back of the block. Um, so what we'll do is we'll put that on the back or the back of the hub. Uh, we'll make an L bracket from these two bolt holes here and then we'll put an adjustable sensor holder here to fine tune it and we should be able to get uh, cam sync from the distributor. I'll have to play around with that next. And then this uh, should work. So I suppose you all may be asking why I'm taking the time to do this on a four cylinder. Well it's kind of like research, right? So in the future, I'll be able to uh, be able to put it on this flathead, so I can run it with an LS computer. I'll be able to put it on the Dart, so if I want to run that with an LS computer, uh, any of this stuff, you know, like the Impala has a big block on it, in it, that'd be cool to uh, run an LS computer. That's gonna have a 360 Magnum, but the Magnum stock computers are garbage, so we could run that on an LS computer, do flex fuel and all that stuff. 
So that's kind of the reason why I'm taking the time. Look, got an air flathead over there that I could do it to. Like I said, it's just kind of research for uh, future me, you know, figuring this stuff out. That's it for this video. I hope this helped you guys out. And yeah, so later for real this time.